To write the name for N2O3, we need to look on the periodic table, figure out what kind of compound we have here. So nitrogen right here, and then oxygen, they're both nonmetals. When we have nonmetals bonded together, that's a covalent or also called molecular compound. So to write the name for N2O3, we use these rules here. So first we're going to write the name for both elements, N, that's nitrogen, and then O, that's oxygen, lowercase o. We're going to take then for the oxygen, the second element, and change the ending to IDE. So at this point, N2O3, we're calling nitrogen oxide. But we need to deal with these little subscripts here that show the number of atoms. So we're going to use prefixes in front of each of the element name, show us the number of atoms present. And we'll use this chart here to get our prefixes. So nitrogen, we have two of those. That's going to be di-nitrogen. Then we have three oxygen atoms. So we're going to put tri in front of the oxide. And that makes the name for N2O3 dinitrogen trioxide. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you'd know there are two nitrogen atoms and three oxygen atoms, N2O3. This is Dr. B with the name for N2O3 dinitrogen trioxide. Thanks for watching.